Okay, in the last video we looked at how to translate a triangle, which meant that you just move the x and y coordinates the same amount for every individual point on the triangle. Now I'm going to talk about reflecting the triangle around the point x equals minus 1. I've actually drawn a dotted line here in yellow around the point x equals minus 1 because it's only at this particular point here, this particular line, that x always equals minus 1. The y coordinate changes as we go up and down the line, but x is always minus 1 at every single point on that graph. How do we reflect um, any points then? Well, we have to imagine that we've got an imaginary line drawn between our point, our coordinate, and the mirror, and it has to reach the mirror at right angles, so an exactly 90 degrees angle. And then we have to consider that the distance between our coordinate and the mirror has to be the same on the other side, on the reflection side of the mirror. So, we can see that I've moved my point here but from point 1 to point minus 1. So I've gone from plus 1 to plus 2 minus 1. That means that I've moved 2 points on the x coordinate and 0 points on the y coordinate. Then I must do the same on the other side of the mirror. So I must move along in an x direction of 2 coordinates and nothing on the y direction. So if I started at this point here, at the point minus 1, and I've moved two steps backwards, I would now have a coordinate of minus 3, because I've moved two more steps in the negative direction. I've gone from minus 1, minus 2 more, giving me the coordinate minus 3. I haven't moved any steps at all in my y direction, so I've kept it as the new coordinate is minus 3, 1. Now I take my next coordinate, which is from coordinate 4 to 2, how many steps have I moved to go backwards from 4 to minus 1? So 4 minus minus 1, I've gone from 4 to minus 1. That means I've gone 5 steps backwards in the x direction until I hit the mirror. So that's 5 steps. From 4 to minus 1, it's 5 steps. So now I need to go 5 steps backwards from minus 1. And where's that going to take me? Well, Five more steps from minus one is going to take me all the way over here to minus six. Minus one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to take me to the coordinate minus six, and I've not changed anything in my y direction. So I'm going to be at point minus six, two. And we can see that the distance from the mirror is exactly the same. It's also a space of 5. I went from the point minus 1 and then I took minus 1, 2, minus another 5, 0. If I add these two coordinates together I get minus 6, 2 as my final coordinate. So my coordinate here is minus 6, 2. I now have reflected my second coordinate on the triangle. And now we're going to look finally at reflecting the third coordinate. Up here I'm at 3, 4, and if I reflect this coordinate back and think how many spaces is it, is it from 3 to minus 1? Well, 3 minus minus 1 would be 4 spaces, so I have to move 4 more spaces from minus 1. Moving from minus 1, 4 spaces backwards will give me minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and to minus 5. So, minus 1, minus another 4, would give me minus 5, and my height coordinate is unchanged, it is 4. So, this also gives me 4 steps backwards, from 3, 4, to the coordinate, minus 4. Minus 5, sorry, 4 steps backwards from minus 1, minus 5, and 4 in the y direction, unchanged. So here is my triangle now. Let's draw it in a different colour so we can distinguish it from the blue original triangle. So we can see that if, the, if around the yellow 
dotted line, if that is our mirror, and we were to look at the mirror image of the blue triangle reflected perfectly in the mirror, we would expect it to be back to front on the other side of the mirror, which is exactly what we're getting. Not only do we know what the coordinates are of the reflection, that this um, coordinate here of 1, 1 is now the coordinate minus 3, 1. The coordinate 4, 2 is now a coordinate minus 6, 2 in the reflected image. And the coordinate of the original trigram at 3, 4 is now at the coordinate minus 5, 4 in the reflected image. So now we've reflected this triangle perfectly around the line x equals minus 1. And this is how we make reflections.